So, you must be Vanessa. I've heard you've been going around saying you're engaged to my Rick. Sorry, who the hell are you? What do you want? Someone's got attitude. You'd better watch yourself, though. Excuse me, you haven't even told me who you are, so what's your problem? You're the one who should learn some manners. Who are you to Rick? I'm not going to play mind games with you. Enough with a tough act. It's pathetic. I guess it is true. Women really do change when they think they've found a good man. I bet you think you're so much better than everyone else. How did you get this number? I'm not going to have a conversation with someone who can't even introduce themselves properly. You're so stuck up, Vanessa. It's me, Cassie. The one who's actually getting married to Rick? Is that enough of an introduction for you? Oh, Cassie. I still have no idea what you're talking about. You can't be serious. I'm Rick's fiance, you lunatic. Poor thing. He's just using you for now. He's actually in love with me. Sorry to break the bad news, but I just couldn't watch any longer. What are you talking about? Are you drunk or something? Did you hear me? I am engaged to Rick. I'm not drunk. I'm just telling you the truth because I felt sorry for you. Rick is getting married to me. That's how things are. So, you need to break up with him and leave us alone, okay? No, I think I'm good. Is that all? I'm kind of busy. Wait, wait. I don't think you understand. You are not good. You're finished. I'm telling you it's over. You need to break up with him. Like right now. Why would I do that? Because I told you. He's mine. He was just playing with you. Got it? Listen, Cassie, I don't know what your problem is, but if Rick has something to say to me, he'll say it to my face. I'm not listening to you. You really are thick, aren't you? What don't you understand about what I'm telling you? I just told you that he's only been using you and you aren't really getting married to him. Shouldn't you be crying or something? Yeah, sure. But I guess Rick did tell me that you're cute, but also a bit dense and boring. Right before he told me how smart and amazing I am. I guess there was no comparison between us. You should have realized you were just his toy. How sad. Hold on a minute. Are you and Rick really going out? You're not playing around. Are you sure you aren't just imagining all of this? Like some kind of messed up delusion that's all in your head? Are you sure you're not drunk or something? What? <laughs> of course not. Me and Rick have been going out for over a year now. That's no lie. A year. He's been cheating on me for a year. With you. <laughs> oh no, you've got it all wrong. We are deeply in love. If anything, he's just been using you on the side. Not that I cared much. I know that he truly only has feelings for me. I just let him play with you for a little bit. But we are getting married soon, so it's time to end it. Sounds like you need to get checked out. He's engaged to me. So if he has been seeing you, then he's been cheating on me. Not that I really believe you still. Wow, you must have really gotten the wrong idea. I know you must be devastated to find out you aren't going to marry the CEO's son anymore, but you need to snap out of it and break up with him ASAP, okay? I'm not letting this game go on any longer. It's time for us to settle down. He's mine, so back off. Okay, okay, I see. So you just expect me to believe everything you're saying and destroy my life? I don't think so. Our wedding is tomorrow, you stupid cow. Of course, I know. I heard directly from him. It's supposed to be a grand venue. He said a lot of people are planning to attend. Yeah, that's right, and? Don't worry. I already contacted the venue and told them there'd be a change of brides. A change of brides? You can't be serious. 
Oh, but I am. Tomorrow it'll be me that walks down the aisle, not you. Like I said, he's mine. Sorry to tell you all of this last minute. I wish I could see the look on your face right now. I bet it's priceless. <laughs> Rick, what's this stuff Cassie is saying about how she's gonna get married to you tomorrow? Tell me this is a lie. She's crazy, right? We might need to get a restraining order put on her. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. Actually, I am gonna marry her. You're joking, right? When the hell were you gonna tell me this? I'm really sorry it had to happen like this. Me and Cassie are just meant to be together. I have to marry her. I wish it wasn't like this. The timing is bad, I know. Huh? What the hell, Rick? I don't even know what to say. So you have just been cheating on me with this bitch for a year. And now you expect me to just pack up and leave a day before our wedding? What the hell is wrong with you? Hang on, Vanessa. I didn't mean for it to be like this. Things just kind of happened, you know? just happened. Go on then. Try me. Explain to me how the hell this happened. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. Well, actually, Cassie is pregnant. Whoa, whoa. Pregnant. At first I was gonna break it off with her when you and I got married, but then she got pregnant and I had no choice. I can't just run away. I have to take some responsibility. Responsibility? If you want to talk about responsibility, then you never should have cheated on me in the first place. Have you even seen her actually take a pregnancy test? Do you know the child is yours? A lot of women lie about these things, you know. It's true. She really is pregnant with my child. We got a DNA test. I didn't know, but they have this new way of testing the child's DNA, even at the early stages. Really? That sounds kind of fishy. I was a bit skeptical at first, too, but the test results don't lie. And the test confirmed it's your child. Yes, there's no doubt I'm the father. So I don't have any choice but to take responsibility and marry Cassie now. I can't let the child grow up without a father. Cassie wasn't even angry when I said I wanted to get the DNA test. She wants me to stay and us to be a family. Sorry, Vanessa. Well, isn't that great for you? So what about me? That's it? Goodbye? We're supposed to get married tomorrow. Plus my friends and family are all coming. Some of them are already in the city. I'll pay them for their troubles. It's the least I can do. I don't expect them to understand my situation right now, but I hope one day you at least can forgive me. Are you serious? I know it won't make everything better, but I'll pay you for your inconvenience, too. My dad runs the company, so I have money to spare. I'll make sure everyone is taken care of. It'll be alright. Just give me a little more time. Good morning! <gasps> what a beautiful day for a wedding. The moment I've dreamt about since I was a little girl is finally here. Yeah, good weather. Lucky you. The venue is perfect. So grand and elegant. You chose the perfect place. I had no problem getting into the dress either. I can't wait for the ceremony to begin. Isn't it exciting? I hear you're pregnant. Did you have to get the dress order made? You know, for your stomach? Oh, Rick! I told him not to tell anyone about that. <laughs> I hope he didn't tell anyone else. I'm going to announce it at the ceremony. Oh well, I forgive him. Luckily, my stomach hasn't started growing yet, so there's nothing to worry about. I'm going to look fabulous in that dress. I'm going to announce her pregnancy to everyone at the reception. I'm sure everyone will be thrilled. You're sure in a great mood. Of course! It's my wedding day after all! Why wouldn't I be? Me in my fabulous dress, and him looking handsome in his expensive suit. 
Today is all about us. I was so excited I barely slept last night. Maybe you should dial it down a little. Do you really think everyone will accept that you're his new bride on such short notice? Wouldn't everyone be shocked about the whole thing? It'll be fine. You're just trying to bring me down because you're jealous. It's not you getting married today. Sorry, not sorry. <gasps> There'll be hundreds of people there to celebrate her wedding. Don't underestimate Rick's connections. Connections, huh? What do you mean? Rick has many connections. He has plenty of his friends coming as well as people from work. There will be no shortage of people to celebrate with. I'm sure a lot of them just want to get smashed at a wedding and have a good time. They don't really care about who's actually getting married. As long as Rick is happy and there's an open bar, it's bound to be a great wedding. Wow, you really are confident about all of this, aren't you? You're right that because he's the future CEO and has many connections, people might not care about the sudden change in Bride. Even if they do think it's strange, probably no one will say it out loud. Right. It's gonna be one hell of a wedding. I'm lucky too. Since everything's already been paid for and planned, all I have to do is show up and enjoy myself. I wonder what kind of gifts everyone will give us. I hope they're expensive. Gifts? <laughs> but no one is coming. What did you just say? Do you plan to have a wedding with no guests? I hope it turns out to be just as you imagined, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course people are coming. Hundreds of people. Don't be such a sore loser. It's sad to try and pull a prank like this just before my wedding. I'm afraid there's no prank. There really is no one coming to your wedding. Well, it is only a few hours till the ceremony. Maybe by some miracle you'll get one or two guests that actually come. But I wouldn't count on it. What are you trying to say? What are you planning? Have fun. Have a nice life with that no good cheater. Vanessa! What is going on? What have you done? There really is no one here. Forgot his friends and workmates. His parents aren't even here. What's going on? It's completely empty! So I was right. I told you. How did you know? Did you do this? How did you persuade everyone not to come? How rude. I didn't do anything. You stole my husband and my wedding from me. All I could do was lay around at home. Oh no, you must have done this. Today is my wedding. You dare to mess with my wedding? This place should be filled with people. There is no way that they all couldn't come by some sort of coincidence. So don't play dumb with me. I didn't really do anything. It's just no one wants to have me as their enemy. I know you were so busy being on Cloud9 fantasizing about your lovely wedding. But you really should have checked who I was before you messed with me. <laughs> who cares about you? You're just some dumb broad Rick toyed with for a while. You were never a threat to me. A dumb broad, huh? Oh boy. You really have no idea, do you? Want to take a guess at which company CEO's daughter I am? CEO's daughter. I suppose I can introduce myself properly now then. Nice to meet you. I'm Vanessa Johnson, the daughter of a man who owns a company only about a thousand times bigger than the one Rick works for. Have you heard of Mintech? Mintech. Hold on. That famous billion dollar company. That Mintech. That's the company my dad works at. Oh, is that right? Interesting. I guess I should look into him then. I hope he wasn't getting ready to retire. I'll have a meeting with him and my father, and we can discuss what you've done. I hope you now realize just who you've messed with. 
Holy crap. This can't be real. Is that why nobody came? Because you're his daughter. I mean, you will have to ask everyone individually for the official reason they didn't come. But yeah, I think you understand the real reason now. No one is crazy enough to go to a wedding where the bride slid in last minute and stole the groom from the daughter of one of the richest men in the world. Oh my god. I don't believe this. No one is dumb enough to make an enemy out of me. And just as a side note, Rick's parents are with me right now. They came to beg me not to do anything bad to their son. It's really sad, you know? While Rick is getting ready to get married, his parents are here trying to get me to forgive him. How pathetic, don't you think? But I've kept you long enough. Have a lovely wedding, you two. Oh my god, Vanessa, it's bad. What am I gonna do? My parents said they've disowned me. Yeah, I bet. What did you expect? They should be happy. Their son has gotten married. They'll be grandparents soon. That's great and all, but I think they have bigger things to worry about thanks to you. What? What the hell? Do you know something? You want to fill me in? I know you're the daughter of a very wealthy man, but at the end of the day you're just a woman. It's not like you'll be put in charge of your dad's company just because you're his daughter. So why is everyone so scared of you? This is messed up. You're the one who's messed up. You cheated on me for an entire year, and then I find out the day before our wedding? What is wrong with you? Even if I wasn't a billionaire's daughter, who would want to go to the wedding where the bride suddenly changed like that? Everyone knows something happened. But it's not their concern. It's my life. I just met Cassie at the wrong time. But she's definitely my soulmate. Oh, is that right? She's your soulmate now, huh? Well, I guess you two will be able to get through any hardship that comes your way then. Well, of course. Good luck, Rick. Looks like you still aren't sorry at all for what you did to me. I doubt anyone will forgive you. Hope you and Cassie have a good life together. I can't stand this anymore. This is no way to live. Vanessa, you can have him back. What's wrong all of a sudden? Rick's parents disowned him out of the blue. Not just him, but my parents won't talk to me now either. How can this be? Is that right? Rick's parents took back the money for the wedding and told us to pay for it all. Don't most couples pay for their wedding themselves? Sounds normal to me. Even if your parents have money, it's a little odd to have them pay for everything, don't you think? I mean, you two are adults, right? We would have never rented such an expensive venue if we knew his parents weren't going to pay for it. And since no one came, we didn't get any gifts that we can sell to pay for anything. No one even came when we had to pay for that huge venue. All of Rick's savings are gone. He's bankrupted just from that. I guess he wasn't even that rich. How could you say that? If you don't have any more savings, I guess you just need to work more, right? He is the CEO's son. I'm sure if he applies himself, his dad will give him a good job. Although, it won't be easy. There's no way that will happen. Weren't you listening? I said his parents disowned him. Completely. There's no way he can use them or anyone else to find work now. It's like the whole city somehow knows about this and no one even wants to talk to him, let alone consider him for a job anywhere. Ouch, that sounds rough. And that's not all. Yesterday, the owner of the apartment he's running told him he has four weeks to find another place. So no place to live now either. Our misfortune doesn't end. The owner said he won't renew the contract and the contract ends next month. So we have no choice but to leave. Oh, that's right. I just remembered something. My dad's friend owns that building. I might have mentioned something to him about my horrible ex living there. Guess he didn't want to lose her like that in his building anymore. No work, 
No home? What are we supposed to do? We have a child on the way, too. My world's been turned upside down. How unfortunate for that child to be born to parents as bad as you guys. I'm sure they'll come to hate you like everyone else has. You know, you only have yourselves to blame for all of this. I only wanted to get married to the man I love. Is that so wrong? Then you achieved that. Good for you. You should be happy. How can I be happy? We've lost everything. You still have each other. He said you're soulmates, right? You don't need a fancy job or apartment. You have each other. You're soulmates. That's all you need. Now you can create your own new life just the way you want. What are you waiting for? Go and get him. Being with Rick is very important to me. But we need money to live. I want our life back. And I want to not be betrayed by people. I guess you can't always get what you want, but that's life. Please, Vanessa, you have to help us. Really? Okay, let's hear it then. Can you just lend us a little money until Rick gets back on his feet? Wow, some nerve you have. Absolutely not. I can't believe you have the gall to even ask me that. Okay, okay, fine, you're right. Then what about if you gave me a job? Me? Give you a job. If you do, I'll teach you how to pick up men. Once you find someone, I'll even help you plan your wedding for a discount, of course. Say $30,000. I need it in advance, though. I'll help you find your perfect match. So what do you say? Good deal, right? No, thanks. Did you really think there was any way I'd give you money? There is no way in hell I would want you planning my wedding, and I don't need your help to find a partner. Come on. Let's put the past behind us. I just want to help you. If 30000 is too much, then how about 20000 or even ten k will do? I just need the money now. Please? You need to sort out your life before you can help anyone with theirs. Let me know when you've turned things around, then maybe I'll want to hear how you did it. Maybe the news can run a story about how a bankrupt couple managed to claw their way back to the top, but I doubt it. I'll keep an eye out on the news for you. Good luck. Rick spent six months trying to use his former connections to secure a new job without any luck. No matter how much he begged, no one would employ him out of fear of being caught in my crosshairs. Rick and Cassie moved out to the countryside. I heard they're trying to start a small farm or something. I don't know much about farming, but I'm sure it won't be an easy life, especially coming from working high-paying jobs in the city. At least they'll have fresh air and plenty of time alone to think about all the mistakes they've made. Cassie's also starting an online marriage and wedding consulting service. At the moment, she has no customers. She tries to contact me sometimes, asking how I am. I just ignore her. I know she just wants me to get her out of the situation she's in, but she did this to herself. I've got my own life to live. <laughs>